What's going on you guys, it's your man James aka JP back again with another Toy Room unboxing video. So today we're taking a look at the brand new Monopoly Space Jam 2, a new Legacy Special Edition set. Now this just came out, I found this at Target the other day and I was absolutely blown away. It's so exciting to have brand new Space Jam toys and products coming out in 2021, like, the last time Space Jam products came out, I was a child. It was, what, like, 1996? So I am very, very excited to see brand new Space Jam products popping up. Even though it's not Michael Jordan and it is LeBron James and they do have different designs and everything like that, it's still a very, very exciting and nostalgic thing to see. So when I saw this Monopoly set, I definitely had to pick it up. And I was immediately sold just straight off the artwork of this packaging. This is just a very nice, beautiful packaging. I really, really like it. It's not like a full-on just like screenshot of the movie you actually have like a, a kind of a cartoony version of LeBron he looks realistic but as we take a closer look in a second you'll see it's kind of a stylized version of LeBron which is very nice I just really like the colors all the blues and purples and oranges just pop very very nice with each other so let's go ahead and take a closer look so you can see right here that image of LeBron and you can see it's not like a, a realistic image it's more like kind of animated in a little bit little cartoony uh, like hand-drawn image which I really really like and coming over here you can see some of the other characters you can see the Space Jam logo a new legacy right there and then again some more of the characters Hasbro Gaming and you can see this has a special feature that you shoot hoops and score points so that's really cool we'll definitely take a look at that in a little bit and you can see giant Monopoly logo right there coming to the side it's just black says Monopoly and then you can see the Space Jam logo it's the same on the other side as well and then you can see an image of the board right here with the basketball hoop set up and everything like that and you can see it says shoot from three point and free throw lines uh, so that's really nice and here's all all the contents inside so if you want to read that you can go ahead and pause and coming through here you can see the Space Jam logo there and the Monopoly logo there same on the top all around it's all black says Monopoly and has that Space Jam logo so let's go ahead and open this thing up and take a look at everything that comes inside take a look at the board the pieces that new basketball hoop feature so without further ado let's go ahead and open this all thing right, up. you guys so before we get into all the accessories and the money and everything that comes with this I did want to give a quick close-up look at the board before we put the basketball accessories and everything on there so that you can get a good view of how it looks before all the obstructions are in the way so as you can see the board is done in a really cool black color scheme with this like bright neon pink and neon blue kind of going on I really love the whole color aesthetic to this whole set right here so you guys will notice as we take a look at this this board is smaller than your standard monopoly board so this board is nine by nine spaces across I think your normal monopoly board is ten by ten and I know there's other special edition sets like the Mario one I believe that might be like eight by eight so the special editions always seem to have just a couple less spaces for whatever reason but let's go ahead and just take a quick zoom in right here of the board and see all the different pieces and pictures and everything that we have right here so we'll start right here so you have the go right here and it says shoot three from the three point line as you pass and then next space up is the road runner and then we have wet fire which is going to be a new villain for this movie you have wiley coyote force field rebound uh, I never knew how to pronounce his name. Is that Gossamer? Uh, then you got Power Up, Elmer Fudd, and then you have the jail right here. So let's go ahead and rotate the board. And continue on. So going from jail, you have Tasmanian Devil, Practice Court, Yosemite Sam, Forced Field Rebound, Sylvester, Hoop, Tweety, and of course Free Parking. Go ahead and rotate again. And then moving on from free parking, you have Foghorn Leghorn, Power Up, Porky Pig, Force Field Rebound again, K9, Locker Room, Marvin the Martian, and Go to Jail. And rotate it one more time. Then from Go to Jail, you have Speedy Gonzalez, Hoop, Granny, Force Field Rebound once more, Daffy Duck, Kronos, which is going to be another villain in the movie. Bugs Bunny, and then you're back at Go. So that is a look at the board. Now let's look at some of the accessories that come with the board. Oh, and also a really nice touch that I wanted to point out is when you open the box, you have a little Easter egg right here of some of the characters. So you can see Elmer Fudd, Sylvester, Taz, and then on this side you have Lola and Daffy. And then on this side you just have a repeated image. Would have been nice to see some other characters on this side. And same thing with this side right, right so here. So let's go ahead and start with the instructions, which you can see right here. Again, you got that same awesome graphic and same contents as 
the front of the packaging. Now I'm not going to go ahead and read all this, so if you do want to pause this one by one to take a look at how you play, you can go ahead and do that right now. And then you can pause it right there. And then we can open it up. You can pause that. You can pause that right there. Hopefully you can read it. And then, you'll, oh man, you also have this whole back section here. So it looks like there's a lot of different rules. This is definitely going to take a little bit of a learning curve for sure. Uh, but I'm definitely just doing like an unboxing. I'm definitely not doing a how to play or a review in this video. But if that is something you want to see, definitely let me know. And then you also get these pieces right here, which this is the most disappointing thing to me. So these characters right here on top, these are the playing pieces. You don't get any actual like metal uh, playing pieces. You get these little cardboard cutouts that you would punch out and then you would put on these little stands right here. As you can see, so they just insert right in there. So definitely not a fan of that at all and not a fan of the character choices. Granted, yes, these are some of the main characters from the new movie, but it would have been nice to see some more of the Looney Tunes. All you have here is Lola, so that would have been nice to see. And you also have these pieces as well. Looks like you have a heart piece and a fast forward piece. So there you go. And then let's go ahead and take a look at some of the rest of the okay, accessories. so let's start with obviously the biggest thing here, and that's going to be the actual basketball hoop right here. As you can see, it's done in this really cool like aqua, like this neon blue translucent plastic. I'm sure it's going to look really cool like when lights hit it, like different color lights and stuff. So that is like the base of the basketball hoop. or not the base, but like the middle section. And right here is the base done in that same nice plastic. And then you have the actual basketball, which is essentially an orange ping pong ball that looks like a basketball, but you hear that? Yeah, it's, it's a ping pong ball. So obviously that's what you're gonna want because you need something lightweight. And then here's like the net for the actual basketball hoop right here, which we can't really focus. There we go. So you have like the net and then the rim right here, which is done in this neon green. And we will of course assemble that shortly. And then you also have the dice right here, which aren't anything special. They're just your standard Monopoly dice done in white with black. Would have been nice to see some custom colors like some of the other uh, special edition sets, but you don't have that as I just hit the camera once again. And then of course you also have this launcher right here and this is how you shoot the basketball and you can see basically you have like Bugs Bunny's hand right here, very nice Space Jam sticker right there. So essentially you just press down on this and that will fling the ball. We'll demonstrate that shortly. And then let's go ahead and get into the money. All right, so here is the money. So on the $1 it's white and you have Elmer Fudd. And then on the $5 it's pink and you have Daffy. And then on the $10, it's blue and you have Lola. On the $20, green with Marvin, appropriate. Uh, then purple, $50 is purple with uh, Porky Pig. And then you have this like orangish cream color on the 100 for bugs. And then you have like this darker orange here for 500 and of course none other than LeBron. I will say it is a little weird having like the non-colored in outline there and then having like a colored image of LeBron. A uh, little inconsistent, a little weird, but not a big deal. I'm just observing the money right here. Nobody really cares about that. That's just stuff that I am noticing and nitpicking at, to be honest with you. Uh, and then coming over to the cards right here, I guess the property cards, or I guess in this case, you're actually assembling a team and you're buying the different players. So here are the player cards, as you can see right here. So the character is Roadrunner, and you can see some of like the attributes and whatnot there. And then you have a nice image of him right over there, which is going to be the same exact image that is on the board. So I'm not going to go through all these cards. I will just kind of go through very quickly. Uh, all the pictures are going to be the same as the board, so we're not going to do that again. But you can see just everybody's got their name and their different attributes right there. Their different stats, I guess what they're good at and whatnot. So going through... And then, of course, you have the locations like the practice court and the locker room. And it looks like screenshots straight from the movie, so that's really cool. And then you have the hoop, which I guess is going to be similar to the chance cards and whatnot, the chance and community chest. So you have hoop, and then you have the power-up cards right there. So those are pretty cool. And then on the reverse side, you can see you get that same image that's on the board. For Those are for the power-up cards. And then is it any different for the... The hoop, yes it is. So you can see, there you go for the hoop card. 
and that's pretty similar to what we have going on on the board so that's really cool okay so let's go ahead and assemble the basketball hoop and get everything going and I'll show you how it actually works. Alright you guys so here is the basketball hoop set up I tried to get a good angle so I can show off how to shoot it and how to make it uh, before we get into that I did just want to really quickly show off what the playing piece looks like so as you can see there you go, so you just put that little clip on, stands on its base, and that's all that you need. So moving that out of the way, here is the basketball hoop setup. So really quickly, we'll take a quick look at the actual basketball hoop and what that looks like. As you can see, it does look very cool, very unique, and I don't think there's ever been a Monopoly set that's had this kind of feature in it, so that looks really cool. Let's go ahead and focus on the actual launcher right here. As you can see, all you're going to do here is just press down. Uh, it doesn't really sit too securely in the board, so I just like to put one finger down to secure it, but you're going to going to go ahead, hit that launcher, and there we go. I made it on the first try right there, so we'll go ahead and try again. This time we'll focus on the basketball hoop. There you go, so we'll press down. All right, and that's just from the free throw line. So in order to move it from the free throw line, we're going to go ahead and move it back to the three-point line right here. So we'll go ahead and clip that into the board and try and get a decent angle. Let's see if we can do something like that and focus on the launcher to start we'll go ahead and place the ball there and hopefully try and make it into the basket from the three-point line so here we go all right so i missed that one so we're going to keep trying till i make it if it takes too long i will fast forward it all right there we go got it on the second try so let's just go ahead and do that one more time and focus on the actual basketball hoop so as we can see right here here we go all right, so there we go. It takes a little bit of getting used to. I did practice a little bit before shooting this section. So uh, once you get the hang of it, it is pretty simple to get it in. As you can see, what did I miss? Like two or three times out of all those tries. Definitely does become easier the more you do it, but it is really fun. And I can just see myself sitting here and just doing this for fun, honestly. Just there we go. That That's a game in its own. So you get really a double feature here. If you want to play Monopoly or if you just want to do this all day long, it is really fun and really addictive. And I just wanted to give a quick aerial shot of kind of what it looks like when it's all assembled. So you can see, again, the hoop right there, the little launcher right there. So that is pretty nice. And again, just to move it from three-point line to a free throw line, you go ahead, port it right in there, put that there, and then you're good. To go. Like I said, it doesn't really clip in all that well. You have to get it lined up like perfectly, but if you hold it down with one finger, it works out just fine. All right, you guys, so there is my unboxing of the brand new Monopoly Space Jam 2, a new Legacy Special Edition set. Now, overall, I am very, very excited to have this in my collection, not even for the Monopoly aspect of it, but like I mentioned earlier in the video, it's just a really, really exciting time to have brand new Space Jam merchandise hitting store shelves, and I was super excited when I saw this, and the artwork on this box is just beautiful. So if nothing else, I'm just really happy to have it as a display piece, and like I mentioned, it's a great time to see Space Jam products hitting store shelves. So make sure you guys stay tuned, have those notification bells on, and are subscribed, because in my next upcoming video, I will We'll be taking a look at the brand new Space Jam Funko Pops. So I picked up Bugs Bunny. I picked up Lola Bunny. And also picked up, of course, you got to have LeBron James. So the only one that I didn't pick up was Daffy. Just because I wasn't really a big fan of the design. And he obviously wasn't wearing the Toon Squad jersey he, he has on a coach's outfit. So that's why I passed on Daffy. Maybe I'll pick him up in the near future. But definitely make sure you guys stay tuned for that review. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with your friends. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. That link's in the description down below. And I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. So as always, guys, stay tuned for more. And I'll see you guys next time.